I love hammer throwing because when I am throwing, I'm growing, um, I'm being challenged and stretched, but in a good way, in a God way, in the way he's called me to, to be, so yeah. Yeah, the Olympics, definitely not expected. <laughs> the, the result was not expected. It was painful in the time. I think what made it most painful was me, when I was talking with God, it was like, God, I'm doing this because you called me to do this. I didn't even want to do this post-collegiately. And now this is happening. Like I've done all this work, gotten to this point, and like, for what? What is the point of this if it just comes to this fault, you know? It was just the loss of what I would have hoped for, I guess, too, in that time of just being able to compete at that high level, being on the Olympic stage, being able to say that I'm an Olympian. It was a loss of all of that. And so post the Olympics, it felt like for months, I was just kind of grieving that loss in a way until I finally got to a point to forgive Nigeria and just their whole administration and everything that kind of went down. That's where I felt peace, walking in forgiveness every day and then felt like I could move forward, truly. I think when it comes to disappointment, um, I don't sit in the disappointment. Hope is not lost completely. So even when things are really, really bad, there was still a glimmer of hope there. And I know that comes from the Lord. And I know that's what sustained me. So if somebody was dealing with adversity or someone had wronged them, I would say to forgive. That's the biggest propeller to move forward and heal.